Okay, and I see by the little red light, boys and girls, that it is time once again from the beautiful studio A of the Minneapolis Telecommunications Network. You read it, you saw it, it's true. TC Music is back live on the air. I'm Mr. Swizzo, and so what? Where you been? We have been all over. We blew the entertainment budget this month, boys and girls. Those silly Englishmen came all the way over from London to put on your shake a spear at the guttery. It was marvelous. Maybe it's not for you. It's not for everyone. Some people liked it. We went out last night. Boy, what an unusual occurrence. The folks at Lee's have been doing some good stuff lately. And last night, although this here picture does not do her justice, I would hazard a guess it isn't even a picture of her, we got to see Rosie Flores do a lot of rockin' and rollin' and country twangin'. And she is always a treat. <clears throat> Those of you who were there know what I'm talking about. The rest of you are going to have to wait till next year. She'll be back if we're all really lucky. Tonight, after the wonders and marvels of TC Music, you may get to go see Bastard Sons of Johnny Cash. This is all part of a two-night thing that they have cooked up with a certain sponsor that shall remain nameless because this is public access airwaves, boys and girls, and we don't get to do that. For gosh sakes, now that I think of it, they don't give us any money either, so why should we? Anyways, go on down say hi to the folks at Lee's later on tonight. Come Saturday, <clears throat> I may not get that far east the way things are looking. But our beautiful but absent Miss Viva will be working over at the lab, also known as the 4th Street Station. If you know how to dial up the right places on the web, you might even get in free. And that would be our wonderful friends at Filthy Divine. If you know the boys down at A440 Studios, there's going to be some shenanigans going on there Saturday night as well. And how I will get myself down there if you wish to come and see the star of tonight's show. No, honestly, that's not true. I just get to sit here and babble for a little while until we let you loose upon some tremendous rhythm and blues as I have heard a little bit of warm up here. Boys and girls, would you please welcome tonight's in-studio guests, Armadillo Jump.
Uncle Puffy. Thank you. 
out the puppy mayhem over there on the harp. I most recently heard it uh, done by Susan Tedeschi.
quite warm. His next song is a song by Marsha Ball. slow traditional blues song for you.
getting too good here but I'm gonna have to just come on and open my mouth at some point so we might as well stop right now after something like that I need a little bit of a breather <laughs> I'm not alone boys and girls I'm not alone all right while we uh, give some folks a chance to get a little dehydrated let's uh, let's find out who everybody is here we'll just go through the motions here one at a time we got a man on a guitar Guitar Johnny. John Coburn. All righty. A man come in from a little ways out here to see us tonight, and we're so glad. And let's just uh, get the, the little powerhouse over with here. Who is this? <laughs> I'm Monica Louise. Monica, bless you, and thank you for this evening. <laughs> I'm going to just sneak all the way down here to the man on the harps. Oh, they call me Uncle Puffy. Okay, okay, Peter Berglund from Crystal. <laughs> you know, it sounds one way at first, and then it comes out a little bit Norwegian the second time. I don't know exactly which is which. 
Well, then you're more than welcome here. At least I got somebody to keep me company tonight. Once upon a time, there was bass players, something that a man named Leo used to call the doghouse. <clears throat> and then there was the rest of us who play the Fender bass. And this gentleman's name is? Bill Hare, uh, St. Louis Park. <laughs> All right. I'm going to come up here. <clears throat> you know, I saw a man last night had a slightly smaller kit than this. But this is a mighty comfortable little piece of drumming. And uh, I'm glad to see somebody that can really make something out of, out of a kit that's only big enough to make it count. And what's the man on the tub's name? Uh, my name is Bob Ehrlich from beautiful Plymouth, Minnesota, you know. I spent a lot of good times out in Plymouth, let me tell you. <clears throat> and we won't talk about some of them. As a matter of fact, we'll leave them all alone for right now, okay? Uh, I would like to point out to everybody that uh, no armadillos were harmed or destroyed in the manufacture of this set piece. That's our manager, Armando Jaramillo. <laughs> You know, down in Texas, they will tell you that you see a lot of armadillos on the road because when a car comes down the road at night and there's an armadillo out there staying warm in the middle of the pavement, they get a little spooked when they see the headlights and all this noise coming. And the poor dillers with these little tiny legs, they can only jump up just about bumper high. And that's exactly how we got our name. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <clears throat> and uh, that's why we get... Uh, that is indeed why we get Armadillo Jump. We are blessed with that. How long has it taken you to put this wonderful little mess together? We started, we started uh, about two years ago. The gig was uh, February 2000. We played uh, May, I think, was the first gig. 2000. March. March. I didn't bring the calendar with me. Yep. <laughs> We've been, He's our uh, historian, our musical historian right there. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. <clears throat> to the western suburbs. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Okay, we've already exhausted the history, boys and girls. Let's talk about the wax. Right up here, rock and rhythm and blues. This ain't no white tablecloth music. This is available somewhere? Is this an existent piece? Um, our group plays out. We play frequently. I think they're uh, listing out our gigs. We do have a CD of demo music that we're playing here tonight. Some of it's on CD. Um, our bandanas are available. If you purchase a bandana, you get uh, a CD. So. All right. So is this one of those wonderful enticements? People are going to have to come out to see you to purchase all of this wonderful merchandise. Absolutely. We want them to come and see us. Uh, we've got a website. It's www.armadillojump.com. Uh, we've got schedules, bios, pictures, the whole shoot and match. So uh, jump out, visit that. We've got gigs coming up uh, through the end of 2004 right now. So come visit us. We want to see you out there. All right. We'll just give them one taste. What's the next upcoming uh, appearance so people can go stampeding out there? I think uh, next, next uh, big gig is at Southside Music Cafe down there in Burnsville on Highway 13. December 20th. December 20th. All right. December 20th, you get to go see Armadillo Jump. And right now, you get to come hear Armadillo Jump on TC Music. If you will, please.
Dog man, sing one more song because we love him. 
and he loves to sing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got to sing. Fancy Bob on the back there. We're going to do one more song. Yep, and uh, I'm going to hang it up, but uh, thank you for joining us this evening. I really appreciate it. Come on out and see us at www.armadillojump.com. <laughs> 